Hi, it's Pastor Jeff, and it's Friday, September 4th, and this is the 150th time that I've come to share with you during this COVID season. And I'd just like to take some time to give God praise and to just look up and thank God for all that he's doing in and through this time of COVID. Now, I know that may seem a little strange, and no doubt all of us can point to discomforts. We can even point to things that have been tragic during this time. I'm not minimizing that. What I am doing is asking you to join me in thanking God for what he is doing, for who he is, and how he continues to demonstrate his amazing grace, his overwhelming glory, and the truth of his gospel that is being lived out in the lives of those of us who love him and are being called according to his purposes. And in that calling and through that love, we have the promise of Romans 8.28, that he, almighty God, is working all things to the get together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. Friends, on this 150th direct and consecutive airing of a daily time of devotion and encouragement, I want you to think about what we've seen God doing in this time. While the world is upside down, Acts 17.6, his followers, his faithful followers are turning the world upside down not with a virus, but with the victory and the vaccine that is Jesus and his gospel. I think about what's happening in our Bridge family all around the world, our Acts 1-8 Bridge family. As I look in Maryland and continue to see everything that we're doing coming out of the hub that is our initial home, where God first planted our family, the Bridge, and said to us clearly, from this place, Acts 1-8 will be actualized. We will be an Acts 1-8 family. I think about what's happening throughout this time of COVID in and through the lives of our brothers and sisters. I look to lives being transformed. I look, for example, at our brother Daniel, our elder who is growing into and being being blessed of God as he feeds and leads our sheep as a, a growing preacher of the word. I think about what is happening at places like Choices Pregnancy Center, where COVID or no COVID, our family, our missionaries are continuing to press in and be the hands and feet of Almighty God. I look at times and places where each of you are interacting now, perhaps in a different way, with your friends and families, and think about Brother Rob, our other elder, whose mother and father are now joining us on Sunday mornings in our, our gospel project time. I think of Sierra and Jordan, who we've walked through a difficult and tragic time with, and at the same time watching them reach out to their family and friends. I see this in the lives of so many. Here in Vermont, where I sit, I'm watching as God is blossoming our brother Fred, one who was found in the most difficult of circumstances and now is being grown, grown through direct relationship and interaction with our brother Mike and sister Duran. I'm watching as Fred is salting a, a home filled with men who are struggling, and he now is discipling and introducing us from St. Johnsbury to another friend and old acquaintance in Kentucky. I think about Ellen, Sister Ellen, who's still going in this COVID time with new and creative ways to multiple nursing homes and areas where the elderly need to hear the gospel. I think about Duran and how she is working now a second job in trying to help support not only the spread of the gospel up here, but also the work of God in our family in Uganda and in Kenya and in India. I think about hearing from Sister Tanya how her children, Matthew and Elizabeth, 
are literally being schooled in the word of God by their mom and seeing and sharing. Mom, I see our church in the book of Acts. That's like Moses and Jackson in Uganda. That's like Pastor Frederick and the orphans and the widows in Kenya. That's like Brother C.V. and Sunil and Sumanta and those that are spreading the gospel and we're with them in India. Friend, I want you to think about and praise God for all that he is doing in and through this time. I can tell you that God is doing the miraculous and it is God who is the muscle in this miraculous mission. And we get to be. Look. I ask you, please look to what God is doing in our family and through our family in Uganda. We have, as of this beginning of September, put over 50,000 U.S. dollars on the mission field above and beyond anything that was budgeted for 2020. This is the gracious, miraculous work of God. We have fed over 150 families in Uganda through this crisis. Nobody has starved. Nobody has gone without. We've seen the Lord spread our family, literally the Bridge family, through the spreading of the gospel and the discipling of disciples who are making disciples, now literally across the entire country of Uganda. I think about what's happening in Kenya where part of that generosity and part of that movement of God has literally supplied mosquito nets for all the orphan children, 220 orphan children now having that. There have been times where Pastor Frederick's family has gotten to the close brink of death through disease of, of malaria and typhoid, and, and the generosity of our family was used of God to cover the medical expenses. We've rebuilt three pastors' homes that were wiped out in the midst of flooding. And we were used of God. It's God through us, but we were able to be a part of the gospel not being washed out of three villages because of a flood, but instead the faithful family of God, the bridge faithful family of God, have been used as the instruments, the fingertips of Almighty God to put up those three pastors and their homes and rebuild on higher, drier ground and see to it that literally dozens, dozens of orphan children were cared for in this time. We've seen in India now our students that graduated and went out from the seminary in the spring have now literally begun to spread out across India. And we are on a weekly basis now connecting with three students, with our dean, Brother Sunil, and we're now meeting other people across the country of India as we are beginning to do this gospel planting seminary course to any and all that will tune in through and across India. Friends, I pray that on this 150th sharing of a daily devotional that has not seen interruption, not one day, by God's grace and through the power of his spirit, we are going to continue to press in and move on as the Lord guides us, as his spirit empowers us, and as his commission commands us to go make disciples locally, regionally, and globally. And we're going to do it in the power of his Holy Spirit. Because without him, we have nothing. Without his gospel, we have nothing to share. But with him and in him, we have what the world needs. And we will not stop. We will not put down this good fight. We will not stop running our race. We will not be denied because... Romans 8, 37, in Christ we are overwhelming overcomers and it is our worship that will lead to this walk, this work, this warfare against the darkness of all that is out there. And this will be our witness. Praise God. His spirit was given to us that we would carry his truth to the world. As the Father has sent me, so now I send you. Those are the words of our King, John 20, 21. 
And if you love me, said Jesus our King, you will obey my commandments. John 14, 15. Praise God we get to be this people. May that inspire you, I pray, for the next 150 days and all the way until we meet Jesus and we are with him forever in eternity. Amen and amen.